I wonder what I'll get this year, yo. <laughs> Style them with so tune in. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Giz. Welcome back to another video. Today we do have a styling session video for spring 2022. Today we'll be joined by my good friends Val and Nick Ken who will be showing their styling and kind of walk through their process of how they style pieces. Without further ado, let's go straight into the video. For me personally, as you guys know, I don't really like to dress too extra. It's always been like trying to look naturally cool as possible, like effortless styling. So those are the pieces and the stylings that I'll be probably showing today. Most of them probably you guys already saw. These are the th things that I feel the most comfortable, the most confident in, and which at the same time, I look the most natural as possible. You, let's go straight into the pieces. I always like to start with the pants, kind of dictate the silhouette of the whole, whole fit. So it's either I go for the flare ones or I go for the more narrow ones. So those two are the pants uh, that I'll be showcasing. So obviously for, for the flare ones, I uh, choose within my hourglass pants. These three hourglass pants, among all the colors that I released, are probably the most three colors that I wear the most. All three colors have a different fabric or a different weight to it, I guess. This, the original sage colorway, has the most, this is the most heavy out of the three. This has the most kind of the vintage-like feeling in terms of styling. So I like to wear this a lot when I kind of want to look a vintage kind of look, but at the same time, I don't want my clothes to look all thrifted. So this is kind of the colorway that I would go for. It goes well a lot well with like my IS logo bomber, which is also super faded. So that's kind of like the classic Giz fit. I like to wear that when I like to go traveling. I look natural as possible, kind of still look stylish. Uh, people really don't know. I, and I guess they know what it is, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, with that, I will pair with my Dr. Martin's uh, Vet Mom boots. And I can also pair that with my, with this vintage moleskin French tor cord tour jackets. It goes really well with these kind of like faded fabrics. Next, I like to wear this dark gray pair of hourglasses. It's also cotton, but it's more like a chino cotton. And it, the color and like the texture goes really well with kind of like more high-end designer pieces that I own. So this is the colorway that I try to go when I style with my others. For example, like the Jules Sander jacket, the Swayze GD jacket and the mint colorway. That's kind of like hard to style in terms of color-wise. Piece itself, it looks absolutely stunning but very hard to style so but it actually goes a lot like perfectly with the gray dark gray hourglass pants is uh, complements the colors complement each other so well so that's also kind of the basic look that I go for with the inside out vintage t-shirt. I could also wear that, wear these with my balloon jackets. It's one of the favorite pieces that I did up to date so far. Such a beautiful drape, such a beautiful luxe fabric. Nice drapey, goes super well with the, the proportions, goes super well with the hourglasses, so the either the black balloons or if I want to make it more pop then I could go with these unreleased colorway the purple colorway that I made originally for the Paris pop-up that I was planning on January for fashion week that kind of got cancelled so I'm not really sure what to do with this colorway but very very beautiful colorway Kind of like in this dark purplish color. So, yeah. And finally, 
the brown colorway in the nylon cotton. This is like the most lightest version of the hourglasses. Kind of really good for the spring, summer as well. So these I would basically wear with like the red balloons, I guess, because red and brown really go well together. One of the most popping colorways that we did. So beautiful. So beautiful. The red and black, the red and black paired with the brown hourglasses with the Dr. Martens is also was kind of like my LA fit when I did uh, when I went there last November. Probably bring it back, this fit. Uh, but yeah, so those are kind of the silhouettes if I choose to go for a flared pants. Next, if I want to go for a more skinny type of pants, I'll go with the Calithias, which is more of a narrow fit, and I'll pair that with the CCP Tornado boots. Very nice, it goes super well with slim pants. It's kind of like my day daily boots these days. Or if I want to go kind of more of a more of a flatter derbies, then I'll go with these Gwiti 992s. It's either those two. And for the pants wise, I kind of have uh, also this Kiko Kostadina Dorset apron trousers. I got rid of the apron because it's kind of annoying. This is also a very narrow type of pants that goes well with these kind of boots. Kind of a beautiful fabric of this jacquard, jacquard fabric. Kind of a narrow, slim fit. The apron's kind of annoying in terms of styling wise as well, so I kind of don't really wear that often, but these go super well with the boots that I just showed you. And I would pair these with kind of like a black hoodie. And on top, I would wear this pink corduroy Catalina shirts that we just released. Such a beautiful, one of the top quality corduroy fabrics in the world. I think you guys will be receiving it soon, but kind of for the spring color popping, you know, I like pink, it's this dusty rose colorway, and it kind of matches well with the browns and the blacks. So it kind of tones down, tones that down a little bit while making it pop. So that's kind of a good spring fit, in my personal opinion, uh, which is normally correct. <laughs> um, and for the Calathea trousers, I mean, you can wear those with the Catalina, those are supposed to be a set. But for me, I like to wear this one of one combo wear bomber and moleskin. Uh, this is a much heavier moleskin fabric than the shirts that I released recently. But because of it, it's very hard to uh, produce. So it's kind of like a one of one for me. And for me personally, I didn't really think that it went as well with the design, the fabric and the design compared to my other colorway and the fabric. So I think we're just gonna go for those. It's much more of a luxe feeling. So, but yeah, you know, in the, in the, in the spring, it's kind of chilly at night. So you still kind of want a heavy bomber. So I'll just pair these with the black Calathea trousers with the CCP boots, kind of give you that nice long legs, kind of short bomber proportions. Um, and that's that. And I want to go for a super skinny chopstick leg kind of mood. And I'll go with this vintage Hemolang trousers and this faded uh, navy colorway. And I'll pair these with the, obviously, either the Guidis or the CCP Tornadoes. And I'll wear a black hoodie and I'll wear the Kiko Kostadinov varsity jacket that I recently copped in the bovine, hell bovine leather, in the storm blue colorway. This fit is something that I wear 
a lot these days. It's, uh, it's casual, it's nice, it's kind of cool. Varsity is not overdoing it like the Louis Vuittons or other brands like a bunch of patches. So I like it subtle, so it's a good fit with a nice faded vintage cap and that's kind of the uh, killer fit for university school days, but I don't go to school anymore, but I'm still the freshest ever. <laughs> yes, last but not least. So there needs to be at least one kind of a killer Instagram or fashion wiki extra fits. So for those, I'll go with the Rick Owens Boland banana pants. Where is it? Boland banana cuts with the black t-shirt and the most beautiful bombers that I made. One of the most beautiful fabrics that I've felt. I was able to source this fabric in extremely limited amount of rolls and the production is really difficult so i'm not really sure when i'll be able to produce this i know a lot of you guys has been asking but this technically was for the autumn winter of 2022 so i wasn't supposed to show this yet but it's so cool that i wear it kind of every day these days just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous fit. But the fabric is obviously much lighter than the moleskin one, so the fit itself in the rib part, it kind of curls up much more nicely while compared to the moleskin one, it's kind of too heavy. So it kind of like falls down kind of too straightly. And that's why I felt like this fabric went more compatible with the with with, uh, with the fabric and with the design and the fabric so anyways i'll keep you guys updated for this uh, but it's gonna take some while so yeah those are the fits spring fits that i did uh, my daily consists of just basically of me office work and office work sometimes the factory visits so i don't dress too flashy i like to be comfortable natural but still obviously kind of have that fashion element I still want to look stylish so that's kind of the fits uh, next is gonna Val is gonna show her fits she's gonna have a different approach everyone is right no one is right or wrong in this case everyone has different style just enjoy feel free to wear whatever that's confident so pass on the mic to her hi guys it's Val also known as kiss best friend are you <laughs> So today, um, I've prepared four different outfits for spring uh, that's inspired by um, spring colors, uh, floral patterns, and different textures. So let's see them. For my first look, I have the simple casual shirt and pants fit. Let's see right through it. So it's going to be this half sleeve shirt and this green pants. So here I have a very fine polyamide uh, half sleeve shirt that's really um that's really cool, like suzushi kind of cool. So it has a floral floral printing with if you can see closer it has embossed kind of texture. It has a layering of a different sheer fabric on top that's been embossed so when the actual fabric is like this because of the fabric on top it looks a bit frosty it looks faded so it's very nice next here is a very vibrant pretty green pants that i have um, it's made of diagonal wool tricotine so because of its wool pants, I probably can't wear it in the summer. So this is why I chose this as a spring look. It has a pinched seam on the front, on the back and the front. And it has what used to be a very high opening 
on the side a slit so that it gives a very nice flared look but because I had to alter the length it's it's just a normal length slit now such a shame <laughs> So for this outfit, um, for the shoes, I would pair them with my brown, dark brown clogs because the color and the cut of these outfits is very flared so it kind of gives me like a 70s vibe and I believe the brown colored clogs look very classic and will go well with this outfit. So here's the proof of how classic it looks and the beautiful color that would go well with the girls. Look how well it goes. <laughs> so the second look is also a bit of a casual look but maybe a little more accentuated because it's still a dress. So here I have a hand-painted flower printing dress. Uh, it has some raw hem details and some beautiful contrast top stitches nothing much to say about this um, other than the printing has been what I believe is uh, flipped inside out so the inside of the dress is actually more vibrant than what shows on the outside so for me it's kind of fun next outfit I have is a little bit more formal but still kind of fashiony because of the color pink so this is kind of the look I will pair these um, two pink setups a blazer and a skirt with a very nice silk shirt so with these setups I will pair them with a nice white set of shoes um, it's my recent purchase from Hermes Korea what's different from my uh, two other meals is that this one has a little secret here when I open this cute leather ceiling, here's a Kelly buckle on both sides. Such a good packaging from our mess. So good. Yes, it's a very smart packaging. I've never thought of wrapping something in a cute little leather. Maybe it's something. I can kind of try later in the future but it was a good learning so here's the very cute set of white shoes I love things that are white and I think they're perfect for spring summer they're flipped <laughs> so here I have a quite long um, oversized blazer it has padded shoulders so that it makes you look kind of strong and the beautiful gray viscose lining all over and here is a back slit that drapes beautifully with the a martingale belt <laughs> 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 so you'll see how this shapes uh, when I button it later it's just very beautiful here I have a dual pleat skirt that has a box pleat on the back and this accordion kind of style pleat in the front with the um, gold buckle detail belt it has the adjusting thing here so you can just you know adjust it to your waist now this is very long but no tailor is willing to alter this length because it's gonna be so hard to measure everything perfectly so I just wear it as it is so you'll see how it is on me later and lastly I have a very chic um, outfit to share maybe the color is a bit dark for spring but because it's a sleeveless tunic I thought it's the perfect weather because the fabric is a little thick on the both sides so although it's kind of a revealing design it's it's not suitable for summer so here for the sleeveless tunic, it's made of a, a bit of a stretch wool, so it's kind of stretchy. And there are some circular cutouts on the waist. Now if you see the cutouts a bit closely, there's you can see that there's a lot of beads going on, some sequins and 
even like pom-poms here but although they can be kind of like a school crafty cheap material um phoebe just managed to make it look you know luxury and very fun it's even more beautiful in real life and in your own eyes and it's fun <laughs> so Whoa. we can do like secret handshakes on the back <laughs> So you'll see how I style it. And to pair with the tunic, I have this flare pants with the contrast stitches and the red color point on the back pocket. So let's see how it looks on me. The first one is Balenciaga. Balenciaga Trump Legu Miare Serov in there. You look at too much Serov or Naung or Anigo, Tataro Naung Japum in there. One Soko, you go to Kinjako. Oh, so Pazine, Pazine, you shot him up to him. Oh, 오늘 이거 하고 있지? 와우 클로즈업 이거 뭐야? 이게 Rare as fuck 나도 모르겠어 이건 진짜 Rare as fuck sample 이거는 Runway sample 판매용으로 나온 제품은 아니라고 알고 있는데 뭐 소량 판매는 했는데 대량 생산은 안된 제품이야 뭐 주문 시대 Nights 완전 다 일일이 핸드메이드로 알고 있고 뭐 굉장히 극소량 제작된 신발이지 이렇게 입어 볼러 오케이 이제는 이제 원아웃 레이저 이런 바지를 입으려고 원아웃 레이저? 원 원아웃 원 아웃 오케이 원아웃 레이저 앤 팬츠 셋업 맞아 많이 입어서 달아 있는 듯한 느낌의 옷 실제로 터치감도 멘티지한가? 어 그러네. 음. 어. 또 이런데 보면은 선페이드가 좀돼 있는 부분이 있고. 어. 어 그러네. 근데 네, 이거를 사람들이 그렇게 많이 안 입더라고. 근데 난 이게 되게 이쁘다고 생각을 처음부터 했고. 그래서 이걸 두 번째로 입어 볼라. 신발 신발은 그냥. 하나하나 옥스포드 신고 더비? 응 더비인데 발렌시아가 더비인데 옛날부터 신던 건데 어, 여기에 어울릴 것 같아 오케이 음, 세 번째 착장은 배트멍으로 한번 입어보려고 하는데 전체를 다 배트멍으로 한번 스타일링 해봤지 2017년 배트멍 제품이고 슈렁 큰 리복 재킷 트랙 트레이너 트랙 탑 그리고 지퍼가 많은 가죽 바지 같이 매치해서 입어보려고 신발도 신발도 베트남 이빙 부츠라고 이것도 17년? 18년에 나왔던 제품인 것 같아 이거랑 같이 입으면 뒤에 링 보여주자. 약간 있어. 오케이. 이제는 베트멍 인사이드 아웃 블레이저랑 지금 발렌시아가 신상으로 22년 어, SS로 나왔던 인사이드 아웃 자켓의 블레이저에 이게 초판이라고 볼수 있을 것 같아. 이게 남성용, 여성용이 있는데 내가 구매한 건 여성용이고 워낙에 오버사이즈라서 남자도 되게 좋아 바지도 베트남? 바지는 아니야 바지는 내가 커스텀으로 제작한 바지 
one of one. 번째는 이물 흐르듯 떨어지는 빛감에 좀 그래도 그렇게 오버사이즈 되지 않은 코트야, 각 코트지. 여기에 아까 보여줬던 이 바지에 이렇게 로브로. 땡 u guys for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it was a very tough process moving these all these clothes uh, and figuring out a time slot where everybody works. So please, please show mad love in the comments. Make sure you like this video as it helps with the algorithm. So until then, see you guys next time.